I've been in fashion, I think, since I've been young. When I was uh, growing up, instead of having movie star pictures on my wall, I had supermodels and outfits. I think it finally accumulated when I was in high school and I got voted best dressed, and then I realized there's gotta be a way I can make money out of this. So I've always had that as my career path. I've been in menswear for two reasons. First, I get to deal with men all day. It's a win-win situation. Number two, it's always been my background. One of my first retail jobs was at Harry Rosen. From then, I went into the wholesale end, working as sales manager and brand manager for such lines as Calvin Klein, Valentino, Kenneth Cole. So I was lucky that I was able to deal with all the top menswear stores across Canada and definitely learn a lot from them and be inspired by them. Godstyle was started in 2005, and the goal was always to make it more of a lifestyle store. So one-stop shopping for guys. So we really wanted to work on having different departments that guys can shop in. So casual wear, social, you're going out clothes, business, and then formal. And then we also wanted to add to that the whole head to toe, so we incorporated a barber shop. So again, one-stop shopping for guys, and get everything here. My first sort of mission statement was clothes for guys to get laid in. And it's always been that sort of philosophy. What can we do to make you look good? Because if you don't walk out of this door and get at least two compliments, then we haven't done our job. We carry 45 different brands in the store, but it's stuff that you're not going to find everywhere. We do a lot of Scandinavian brands, so stuff from Sweden, uh, Copenhagen. A lot of things from Italy, but again, lines that aren't everywhere. The main focus of everything that we have in our store there is that it's a modern trim cut. So we want to get guys away from that boxy look to clothes that fit them properly. But this isn't a store for skinny guys because we go all the way up to a double XL size 40 because you can be a big guy and still wear something that's trim. And another thing we want to really sort of offer our customers is that it's not about designer price points. I personally have a hard time spending $300 on a shirt or $600 on a jacket. So we want to have clothes here that are affordable, represent really great value, but also really good quality. A lot of people will ask, you know, what's the biggest trend for this season? We're not really about trends. It's not that must-have shirt. It's more, what can we add to your wardrobe that's going to make you look good? For us, some things that we really believe in is, for that younger guy, is the cotton blazer. The cotton blazer should be the new hoodie. So whenever you are wearing a t-shirt and jeans, throw the blazer on and it automatically gives you a style upgrade. I also love the cotton suit. I mean, when it does get warmer, um, it's plus 30 degrees out, you're at a business meeting, everyone else is wearing a dark navy suit, you've got on something crisp and light, it just makes you feel good. Same for summer weddings, it's something I think guys are starting to warm up to, having the different fibers in their closet for suits. And another trend that I love is the tuxedo blazer. So mixing high and low, so doing that tuxedo jacket with a pair of jeans and a t-shirt when you're going out at night. So not being afraid to mix different things together. For spring, the hottest trends for guys are a few different things. First off is color. I think after such a long winter, guys need to embrace color. It just puts a smile on your face. So this season, we're seeing pops of orange, pops of green. Purple's still strong, but it's definitely more a little bit of brightness happening. Tired of seeing guys wearing the same thing. And there's that uniform where it's either jeans and a t-shirt or it's a you know, striped shirt untucked with a pair of jeans. So it's time to, women I find are starting to dress up a little bit more. They're always wearing a dress or you know something sexy. Guys have to raise the bar as well too. Because if we're looking good, then you've got to look good. I'm definitely seeing with the younger guys that they're trying to emulate more of their grandfathers as opposed to their dads. Because their dads were part of that whole dot-com, casual Friday dressing, which killed the menswear industry. So I think that new generation, they're seeing what's out there and they want to dress in a three-piece suit. They want to put on a fedora. They're interested in suspenders and all that sort of classic menswear. And then we're seeing the older guy, you know, he's newly divorced and he's hitting the scene. So he needs to change his look and get away from the style that he was used to wearing, which was the baggier chinos, the oversized polo shirt. He's got to smarten up as well too. To me, the one item that every man should have in his closet is a slim fit black suit because it's something that you're gonna wear for weddings, for funerals, in case you have to get invited to Monte Carlo last minute. But a good fitting suit and a guy does wonders and it's a head turner. I mean, I've definitely seen, you know, saved marriages when the guy comes out of the fitting room and the wife is like, oh my God, you look amazing. But a good fitting suit and a guy is a must have that every man should have in his closet. Accessory, if we want to keep with that dressier trend, I like a pocket square. It can be a silk pocket square in white or a cotton one. It just gives a little bit of pop to the jacket. 
Obviously, I'm a little bit more into guys dressing up, so we have this beautiful tuxedo jacket from Sam that I love. Again, it's got just a little bit of piping on it, so you can, again, dress it up or dress it down, depending on what you're wearing with it. I think the best way that men can stay well-dressed and stylish is to, first of all, buy clothes that fit them properly. Get away from that boxy look. Go for a slightly slimmer pant, a slightly shorter jacket, and then add that little pop of interest. It'll get you noticed, but it's not going to overwhelm or take over your personality. That's all for Men's Fashion Insider this week. For myself and Marcella Sal Jones in Milan, we want to thank you for watching Men's Fashion Insider. Tune in next week for more models, more fashion, more couture. I'm Chris Housen. See you next time.